Hey, what's up? It's Wednesday and today it's candy cookie day. Well, today we have our normal routine of getting work done. Some of us have school, some of us don't, but today, a special treat, we're gonna teach you how to make our once a year candy cookies. Now, at Halloween, all the kids bring back way more candy than they should consume, than honestly anyone should consume. And years and years ago, we had this great idea of what would it look like if we made chocolate chip cookies, but we chopped up all this excess candy and put it in the recipe. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to do that. But first, let's get to work. And that means our referral business, that means online, anything. That is today's family vlog, <laughs> is Halloween candy cookies. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Hi. Are you actually working from home or not? Yes. Do I have to prove it to you? Don't trust you. <laughs> Can't trust that girl. Never have? Never will. Just kidding, I totally trust her. Relax. So what's going on out here? I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna hit the block. I think that I so I figured, I figured the uh, treadmill will work. I'm gonna have to get bit. a turn on that, huh? Why, well, yeah. I, I need to get back on this, don't I? A package came. What's this? Oh, I know what this is. Sidewalk chalk? Yeah. What are you making? What's that? You'll see. You'll see, she says. KK! Yeah? Come here! Okay. Your package got here! Here. Thank you. Open it up. Alright. Well, what is it? What, is that what we ordered already? Mm-hmm. That got here fast. It wasn't yeah. supposed to get here until tomorrow. Mm-hmm. It's a tiny keyboard. I need that knife. Oops. Oh, it's an un it's a foldable wireless keyboard. Yes. With a touchpad. What? Oh yeah. What? Okay, now I want one. That's cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought it was just like a little rinky dinky little thing. This is cool. Nope. Only the best for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh what? And then here's oh, my, my nerdiness wants one of these. And then here's <gasps> my phone stand. What are you doing, Seabear? I'm making slime. It's not a huge success, but I'm just adding a bunch of more ingredients because it might just work. I added foam soap. I added a bit of um, saline solution, so basically eye contact solution. I added some lotion, some baby oil right there. Oh, um, battery's dying. Uh -huh. And since we didn't have enough of the Elmer's school glue, I used some of the clear glue. I'm pretty sure that's why it didn't work as much. And I put some dye and cornstarch and a little bit of baking soda. Oh, oh like a building. Oh, Got yeah, it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, oh that's nice. trippy. This is mine, Dad. Awesome. Guys, can you, here's mine. Huh? That's cool, Jill. That's yellow. I love it. Can I finish my flower? You ready? Sure. All right, so right now Claire and I are going to show you how to make candy cookies. Really, all you're doing is making the regular chocolate chip cookie recipe on the back of the Nestle Toll House chocolate chip bag, and instead of chocolate chips, you're gonna use the candies of your choice. Now, if you want to, you can also use chocolate chips in addition to the candy. I'm just saying, you don't have to, but you might want to. So first, you need to get two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, two sticks of butter softened. We melt ours a little bit because it's easier to mix. Three quarter cups of granulated sugar, three quarter cup of packed brown sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two large eggs, and then you have to add your candy. So Claire and I are gonna go ahead and get started on making the uh, making the, the, the batch right now, and then we're gonna cut up our candy, add it to the mix, and toss them in the oven. 
All right, so we're going to set the flour on the side and then we're going to take all the ingredients uh, other than the flour and we're going to put those in first and mix them all together. So now we're gonna start mixing all the ingredients and as I'm doing that, Claire is going to start slowly adding the flour. Now that we have our cookie mix ready, Claire and I are going to take all the candy we've chosen to add to the mix and we're going to open it, unwrap it, and we're going to chop it up into bite-sized pieces to add to our mix. Now those of you who have to worry about peanut allergies, we make two different batches at our house. We make a peanut and a peanut-free batch. So we're going to chop up all that candy right now, separate it, and split our batch down the middle. All right, now we have our peanut-free candy bowl and our candy with peanuts bowl. And we're going to split the cookie batch in half and we're gonna start baking. So after you've mixed all the candy you want into your cookie dough, you're gonna start scooping them onto the tray. You're gonna bake these cookies for nine to 11 minutes at 375 degrees. Now your oven may require a little bit more time or a little less, but the key is to watch them towards the end of your timer so that you can take them out right before you think they're done and let them sit on the counter and get really soft. Yeah, you can help me with the other ones too. <laughs> All right, now these are a little bit clumpy because we use a lot of soft candy and candies that had caramels. Traditionally, if you use something like Hershey's, you use Nestle Crunch, you use Twix, you won't have this problem. But this is the candy we got, so this is how they look. Hold on, I'll do that there this time. Whoa. They look messy, Claire, but how are they? Everybody get a cookie and you're happy? Love yeah. That All right, we gotta sign off because today today needs to be over. Today, should we be should we be done with today? All right, we are done with today. Bye, Jill. Sign us off. No, 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 no. You signed off. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Some days I just don't know what to do. See you tomorrow.